What's going on there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a tutorial on how to make your own homemade Ethernet Cat5e cable. Uh, I made 100 feet for about 3 bucks, and that runs about 25 at Radio Shack, so you do save yourself quite a bit of money once you have the material. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really easy, a lot less difficult than most people think it will be, and uh, it's a good time. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need some stock Cat5e cable. This just comes in bulk. Uh, I got a roll of 1,000 feet for $19.99 at Home Depot, so it comes very cheap nowadays and uh, isn't hard to get a hold of. You're going to need some 8-pin uh, Cat5e connectors. These are the uh, typical plug in what you see here. We're going to strip these cables and then we're going to stick the wires in there and uh, clamp it down. But uh, these run, I got ripped off. I paid uh, 10 bucks uh, for five of them at Radio Shack, but you can get like a bucket of 50 for 15 bucks at Home Depot. And then uh, you're going to need a ratchet. Uh, this is to uh, secure the cable, make sure it all works grand and uh, fine. Uh, this one is a nice one. This is from a company called Ideal. I paid $29.99 for this, I think, but you can find them as cheap as uh, 10 bucks at Home Depot once again. So what we need to do first is remove the jacket from the cable. Uh, I'm just going to use this little built-in tool, but you can just use a pair of house scissors. Uh, do a couple more inches than you need. This cable, again, is very cheap, so you don't have to worry about wasting a few inches. Just clamp that down, and uh, you'll be able to remove the jacket without any issue whatsoever. You pull that, and we are good to go. So uh, what we need to do first is inside you'll find four separate cables. You're going to find a brown, a, you're going to find a brown and then a white and brown, a green, white and green, a blue, white and blue, and then an orange, white and orange. You need to un, uh, unwrap these cables and we'll do that in just a minute. In some of them you may find this string. This is to pull down the jacket if you choose to do that. We don't need to do this for this particular um, tutorial so we're just going to cut this off with uh, regular house scissors. Okay, once we've done that, we are ready to go. Like I stated earlier, we just need to uh, untwist these. It's very easy, it doesn't take a lot of work. Um, and then try and straighten them out as much as you can. Be careful, the wires are fragile, so you don't want to be yanking on them. You don't want to be touching them too hard or else they will break. But, uh, you know, it is pretty easy to do this. Just unscrew these. All right, so here we are. Uh, try and straighten them out as much as you can. Just push on them, crimp them a little bit. Uh, be careful you don't want to break the wire like I said earlier, but you can kind of try and straighten that stuff out uh, because we do need to line them up one in a row for uh, all eight colors. So the configuration that you need, and this is uh, there's two configurations, but one uh, works just as good as the other, and uh, this is the one that is generally preferred, is uh, the... Order is white and orange, then solid orange, and then white and green, and then blue, and then uh, blue and green, or excuse me, blue and white, and then solid green, uh, brown and white, and solid brown. So we'll do this right here uh, to kind of speed the process up a little bit. First you need uh, your white and orange, then you're going to need orange, and then as the third cable you will need... Um, green and white, so we got to get this over there, right here, and then solid green, don't be worried uh, about moving these around in the, I mean they're all kind of twisted down there at the bottom, uh, don't worry about separating them, I mean they're not a big deal, but you can uh, choose to uh, move them if you want, but I don't, I don't do that, it's not that big a deal. So we got, uh, again, white and orange, solid orange, white and green, and then we are going to have um, solid green, excuse me, not solid green, solid blue. Um, so we got that right there. Now we are going to have 
blue and white, and then solid green, and then brown and white, and solid brown. So, one last time, the configuration is, let me get this one a little bit out of the way here. The configuration is white and orange, orange, white and green, blue. Uh, you're going to have this one here, blue and white, uh, green again, and then brown and white, and then solid brown. So uh, once you got that kind of figured out, got those mashed it up together, we are ready to stick this into the connector. So first what we need to do is uh, lob this off, uh, get all but the probably this much. I mean, you don't need very much room there. You got your cable, you're ready to go. Take this, take some house scissors, and cut straight off. It's very important that you cut straight uh, because it does matter the order that the cables are in, and also they need to be the same length so they all reach together. Uh, fix those one last time, and we're good to go. Take your connector, do it upside down so that this is on the other side and the connectors are on this side, and stick them in. Make sure they're all in line and that they all go into their respective spots. Uh, you can actually even need to cut a little bit more, so don't worry. Just take it and cut a little bit more. Now take this, slip the jacket on, and push this forward. You want a little bit of the gray in the clamp here. If there's not enough gray, uh, you're going to have some issues. And then also make sure up here that all the cables are touching the end, because it is important when we go to pierce. Now take your nifty little tool, stick it in the way that it goes, which is this way. Once it's in place, all you have to do is crimp, and you're good to go. You've made one end of your Cat5e cable. Now all you need to do is do it to the other end, plug it directly into your motor or your modem or a switcher or wireless router, whatever you use, and you'll be set and ready to go. So that's the tutorial. It's very easy. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it's much cheaper than the other paid alternatives. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment to my other channel at That Snazzy iPhone Guy. Link is below. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.